Okay, so a couple months back, I had this like I was watching Ancient Aliens. It's one of those things. Uh, and I had this like theory because you know they always talk about ancient civilizations and you know how do they have this technology? How do they have this? How do they know that? Yada 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 yada. yada, yada. And I thought to myself, what if, like, isn't it really conceited of us in today's day and age to think that we are the only humans that have ever existed? You know, evolution happens all the time. Every day, evolution is progressing. So what's to say that the ruins that we're looking at now, from our early age of civilization, who's to say the technology that they had and the things that they had, they didn't find from ruins that were available at their time? You know, I, I understand the, the counter argument to that is like, why didn't they write it down? Why didn't they speak on it? Well, I mean, there's plenty of things that have been lost in history. You know how many times books have been burned? How many times people talk about what if the Alexander's lighthouse hadn't gone down? Where would the world be now? So what's to say that we aren't the first instance of humanity on planet Earth? Because when you look at the age of the Earth, the Earth is billions of years old. Like if you look at the timeline of how long the Earth has been here, humanity takes up such a small portion of it. So, I mean, I guess you could just sit here and say, oh, fuck yeah. You know, for all these billions of years, nothing was happening on the Earth just elements which I'm sure at the beginning it was like that but you know Neanderthals used to be a thing and Homo sapiens wiped them out so who's to say that we are the first instance of humans on this planet now of course the other side of that theory the popular ancient aliens one is the Egyptians got it from aliens but that's a whole different conversation because then you get into like the idea of creator gods and this and that and Oh my god, there's a Zeus in every, or in every part of the world, in every mythos, there's a Zeus-like character, so there must have been some... Anyways, so, that's what my original idea was. Was, like, who's to say that we were the first to ever be here? Because, you know... How did humans first become? How did humans first become? Because... When you have a child, when you have a baby, guesstimate, guesstimate right now, like how long do you think you need to take care of that child until they are ready to fend for themselves in the world? Like realistically, like let's say we were animals. We didn't have society. There wasn't someone that would come and take care of them. Because you know, you're comparing it to like animals. You know, when snakes hatch, or crocodiles hatch, <laughs> or when other animals uh, are born, you know, oftentimes the mother just leaves. And they're ready to go. Boom, bam, life. Survival. But you can't do that with a human baby. Now, I know there are some mammals that are like that. You know, I don't know how many mammals would be good to go right off the bat. But a lot of animals are just good to go, but... Even those animals that need to be taken care of by a mother for a certain period of time, it's much less time than humans. So, like, how did humans get started? How, how, did, how did it happen? Neanderthals? Monkeys? There had to have been somebody that took care of humanity in its literal infancy until it got to the point where we could stand on our own and take care of ourselves, where we could reproduce and take care of our young to continue our population. So that's what I was thinking, all of that wrapped up, and then I saw this post about the prison planet theory. <laughs> Not a huge fan of the name or anything like that, but they were saying that humans are so unfit for this planet. Our presence here destroys it. How many straws are in the ocean right now? <laughs> and what they were saying is, you know, other animals, other creatures that are on this planet, they live in cohabitation with the earth they live they're part of the environment they're part of the ecosystem they are here they're meant to be here all of their actions don't take from the earth like humans do 
And even if you go down to like a biological aspect, you know, we have to protect ourselves from the sun. We have to, uh, uh, there's a whole host of things. Like we don't have fur. We are literally not adapted for this planet. We use up all the resources and all of our actions just destroy it. So how did humanity come to be on this place? You know what I mean? Especially if we aren't equipped for it. So it's weird. It's weird when you think about it. They call it the prison planet theory. I'm sure if you look it up, they can explain it much better. I saw this like two or three months ago, but it's been in my head ever since. But they were saying that the origins of humanity was Earth was supposedly treated like a penal colony from some other society, kind of like Australia and the British Empire. So all of the prisons and ruffians of that society were brought here. Sounds a little sci-fi to me, um, but it's another interesting like origin type thing, you know, a scientific explanation. Or maybe it's just the fantasy of it all that's so appealing. Um, the last part of it, they were saying that uh, it could have possibly been humans once lived on Mars, because Mars was once habitable and now it's not. So what if we just hopped one planet over? <laughs> I think it sounds so easy. Who knows? It's a lot to ponder. It's a lot to think about. And I know there's a lot of counter points to a lot of those points as well, but it just boggles my mind. Boggles my mind. Uh, Netflix has the this new Alien World documentary thing. It's like a regular nature documentary, but for like each episode's a different planet, I guess, that they've named. We're going to Spike Myth next. Do I not go here? Uh, oh, because it's indoors. Um, but it's it's kind of interesting because, like, what they're talking about, the scientific aspect of it is really, really cool and interesting. Um, but when they start with all of the sci-fi fantasy stuff, it's kind of like... It's cool. But I'm really more so interested in the actual like explanation of what we're looking at. But I think it's like four episodes. You should check it out. Anyways, we're here to speak to Marnie. Nappy, you look a little more champion-like, huh? Only a little though. What are you gawking at? It's exactly what you think. I look wicked as a gym leader, right? I want to show everyone that even if you can't Dynamax, you can still use other tactics and have a lot of fun. Come on, champ. How about an exhibition match? I'll whoop your ass. Don't get me wrong. This ain't you using me for training. I'm using you for training. Got it? One of us is champion, and the other one is... No. I will be mean to her. Modesto. You already know what to do. Oh, fuck. God damn it! Detect! Protect! Fake out! Hey. But you know what? We didn't have a chance to really celebrate Anissa. God damn. Very happy, very proud. Anissa did the damn thing. Out here doing it. Look at this. Critical hit. Yo, continue the celebration. Continue it. Let it, go. Let it continue on. Don't stop. Don't stop. Pop that cat. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But for real, Anissa, I'm feeling good things, great things about that. Anissa the Great, Morteco. 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 Um, I think I'm gonna let Alphonse handle this. And you know what I'm gonna look up real quick? I'm gonna look up brown type Pokemon. Because I really like ground types. I place one of my favorite moves, and I almost always have ground types on my team. Sandaconda. I was gonna say I wanted to see what are the new ground type Pokemon in this game. Renew, renew, Runarigus, 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 Uh, I mean, I like Sandaconda. It's definitely on the list. It's definitely on the list. I'm pretty sure we went and caught one. Just because you liked it so much, so. Hmm. Another plate. I don't need you going all hangry. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck? Oh. OK. 
okay. Fucking evil Hamtaro on his wheel. Get out of here. Full restore all you want! Get out of here! Hey, I don't even mind. That move is dope as shit. I like it. Aura wheel? <laughs> That's dope as fuck. Goodbye, Morteco. Hey, you a gym leader? <laughs> this was just regular trainer battle. Ooh. Awkward. Toxicroak and electric Toxicroak? Awkward. Oh, Toxic Girl's a fighting type. Shit. Hey, don't. Close combat me. <laughs> Does Toxic Girl get close combat? What's up, bro? How you living? How you doing? Oh, ah, yeah! ah, ah, ah! Chill. We haven't even steel beamed anyone yet. I'm not swapping. I'm steel beaming the next Pokemon I see. I'm not swapping. I'm steel beaming the next Pokemon I see. Oh, it's fine. No, not steel beaming him. But will we outspeed him? I don't know, his pants are baggy. Maybe he's tripping. Elephants can get moving when they get going. Come on now, I was thinking. I was hoping. Um. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa. Creepy. I was thinking about this when Whoa, doesn't evolve to level 50. Ooh. It's okay, we'll get it there. We'll get it there. We'll get it there. Um, it only knows these four moves. That's why I wanted to look up when it hit level 18. Because I was like, there's no new moves? What the fuck? It only knows these moves by level up. Ooh. You have to stick with this and the TMs? Whoa, bro! Game Freak, what are you doing, dude? Holy shit. Okay, so it only gets these four moves, period, till it evolves level 50. And then by TM, TR, it gets Thunder Wave, Rest, Snore, Protect, Attract, Facade, Swift, Helping Hand, Ground, Substitute, Endure, Sleep Talk, and Baton Pass. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> By breeding, you can get it Confuse Red, Curse, Disable, Double Team, Dragon Tail, Grudge, and Sucker Punch. Again, just a little bit of... What the fuck? And you can tutor Draco Meteor onto it because it's a Dragon type, of course. Dreepy has the lowest base HP of all Dragon Pokemon. Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad that we are raising it the way we are. <laughs> I'm glad that we are raising it the way that we are. Because... Yikes. Yikes. I didn't look at its evolution. I want to be a little surprised, but after I didn't learn anything at all, I was more so curious than anything else. Yes, do the thing. No, don't do that thing! Marnie. She's only got one Marnie. No! Hey, I said I wanted to do some battles. Now we got some battles. And to be fair, we're only... 16 levels away from 50. 
But that EXP is gonna go up, 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 up. Grimmsnarl. Is he Dark Fairy? Alphonse is gonna die. I'm gonna go out to Annette Yuko, and we're all gonna hide behind her <laughs> and heal. We're all gonna hide behind Annette. Oh, it's a shame you can't Dynamax, because his Dynamax is crazy. Uh, whatever you do, please don't. I was going to say, please don't start setting up. Because that's going to be a problem and a half to deal with. Um, I really want to use burn up on him. Darkest Lariat. Okay, Incineroar. Whoa! Oh, Grimstarl is so cool, too. You see his arms? Ooh. I wanted to steal beam someone. How much steel beam gonna do? Plus two defense. Shit! Wasting time! Alright, everybody out from behind the net! And attack. Burn this whole world. I should have tar shot. Give Johnny a chance. Uh -huh. I wanted to see if the little blow would go out. Game three. Where's the attention to detail? Ooh, even at plus two to defense, that did a shit ton of damage. Holy fuck. I'm gonna go for a charge shot on the off chance we don't get Darkest Lily again. <laughs> Ooh, hey. Hey, that burn up was worth it! I wonder what would happen if you were. Yeah, Ar it said Arcanine got it. What happens if you're a pure fire type Pokemon? It will become typeless. If the user is a pure fire type Pokemon, it will become typeless. So that means you don't have any stab, but you're not weak to anything. The only pure fire types that get it are Arcanine and the Typhlosion one. Uh, well, I guess technically Ground gets it by breeding, and so does Tepe, so. Uh. I guess the whole Tepe line can get it, because if Tepe gets it. <laughs> we keep it, right? Shawnee, come out here and steel beam this hoe. We got to use both of our new moves. Burn up and steel beam. Darkest Lariat, we're eating it up. That means nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn! Damn! I would love to see like Mega Metagross use that. That would be so cool if his arms came together to focus on the beam and it. Oh shit, bro. That's crazy. That was a dope fucking move. Yeah, I lost, but I'm gonna learn from your battle style and everything. Me, yeah, okay. Okay. You got it. As expected, you're a proper champion, ain't you, Nappy? Okay, I'm gonna give you something important, so keep it safe or I'll get mad, got it? Oh, that's why we're doing this. Uh, uh, okay, cool. 
Whew. God damn. <laughs> hey, that's steel beam. I'm glad we got it. Sorry about it, Iron Head. Sorry about it, but I'm glad we got steel beam. And I'm glad we have a Nisa. Oh! Okay, so our next stop on our post game tour, we need to make our way to the top of the map. So in Winden, I think we're supposed to go to the tower? I think? I don't know why I came over here. I think we're supposed to go to the tower. There's a couple things we need to do here. Ooh. No wait, that's Rose Stadium. This bitch is huge. Oh, wait, you have to catch the train to get to it. Can I catch it from the hotel? Damn. What is this? <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Can I go in this boot and change like Clark Kent? Oh, I don't know actually. Maybe we need to go to the stadium. Winden Stadium is Rose Stadium. What did it say? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Chill, bro. Chill. Okay. Not 100% sure where we're supposed to go for this. But we're going to figure... No, this is not it. Oh, but well, we do need to come back here, but not yet. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Back on the train. The Rose of the Rondelands? Because, yeah. I don't know why I don't know why I did that. I said we were, the goal was the, the fucking tower the entire time. It's just gone to the tower. like a air and space production company or some shit. This is what we were looking for. Mugo. I'm not talking to you. Electric memory on. This will help save on the electric bill. <laughs> Excuse me? Guess it really doesn't work until type null evolves. Drat. Oh, champion Matthew. Probably goes without saying at this point, but congratulations on your victory. To commemorate your achievements, I present you with this rare Pokemon, Type No. Cool. Cool. Dope. All right, buddy. Rumor has it. Rumor has it that the theft of the top secret research notes led to a new instance of this Pokemon being created in the Gallo region. Ooh, the backstory. Ooh, the lore. Type Null's nickname will be I think this will all fit. No wait, no wait. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Boom! Zoe Candido, or Condido. <laughs> she is an elderly adult 
from New Jersey, the United States. So she's American and she speaks English. She's 66 years of age, born January 18th, 1954 at 3.23 a.m. Standing five foot three, weighing in at 118 pounds. She's right-handed with an O positive blood type. Living a lifespan of 67 years. Whoa! Dying of cancer on November 12th, 2021 at 106 a.m. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, Zoe. Fuck it up, Zoe. Try attack X scissor iron head takedown. You wanna learn steel beam? <laughs> Modest nature. Wow. Sang to a box. With all the other creations. Ah, and these two. Oh, they give us all the memories. Once type null evolves, it will change. Its type will change depending on which memory you have to hold. So I should have named him. Okay! Wow, look at the, the fucking flower. Oh my god. So, next up on our list, we are going to take on the Battle Tower. We're going to give it a go, one good stab, and hope for the best. Um, I don't know what I want to do, though, because I think I might just do singles, because none of my mods are really set up for doubles, <laughs> and I know that if I do doubles, the Battle Tower is going to be set up for doubles. <laughs> And I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know how I feel about that. So let me see here. I think we're going to take Modesto. I think we're going to take Shawnee. I think we're going to take, I'm torn between Paula and Alphonse. Or should I take Modesto, Paula, and Annette? I like Alphonse because he has Toxic, and that could come in handy. Because I don't think you can use items. Um, but you can never go wrong with Fire, Water, Grass. I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with Fire, Water, Grass. I mean, I'm just going to see how far we can go. I'm just want to make sure that you can use Pokemon brought over from other regions in ranked battles. Bro, I just... No. Stop. Can I help you with something? I want a battle. So I think I'm going to go with singles or beginner tier. Please select a battle team. Yes. So I'm going to grab you. You and you. Can Anissa still get experience? Then in you go. So I think the last time I did the battle tower was the battle tree in Sun and Moon. I don't remember how far we got on that either, but I just want to take a stab at it. See where we get. See where we get. And this music though. Wait a minute. Hey, don't fuck me up with a grass type move. Oh, it probably will because I have a water type. Move. Oh, get fucked. Fuck it. I'm planning on ending this battle in three turns anyway. I'm really feeling this. Um, this is part one of our Super Battle Tower Extravaganza Special. Bitch! Bitch, bitch, bitch! Damn you, bitch! Oh, it still goes through. Because I'm so big.
So... Whoa, 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 whoa! Hell! There we go. Well, we'll be over in three turns. <laughs> Again, I swear to God, if he used detect. Oh, snarl! Get that out of here! Ugh! Be gone! So, I mean, fire, water, grass, not bad. I'm going old school with it. Ribomb. Oh, wow. Then we brought a net. Shit. The net is carrying this. Oh, I could have still flame charged. All your mons have protect. Are you in the wrong league? <laughs> Why do you do this? Why do you make this longer than it must be? How about you just be gone? How about that? How about that? Yee, get it out of here. That's two crits. That's two crits. In what, four turns? Oh, I lost still. I won't let this bring me down. I'll always give my best. And now you go knocked out all three of her moments. Yeah, give me that BP. Would you like to continue battling? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's battle decide which one of us has the cutest Pokemon. Schoolgirl Holly. Galley. What can we do against a Galley? I don't know. I'm just going to snipe shot the shit out of it. And I hope and pray. Hope and pray we don't have Thunder Punch, and we don't protect. Well, I mean, we're still doing damage if we protect, but I really hope that you don't. Bro, Italian is so cool! It's so cool! Fucking James Bond, look at his face. He looks down. <laughs> I've been had. Oh, I've been had! How could you do this to me? Do away with him again. Do away with him again. Get up! Woo! Let me give you some bad dreams! I'm gonna need an energy ball to get more. It is so cold. Why are you putting me to sleep? I'm gonna kill you next time. And my lips have gotten so dry and chat. It's like, I feel like every five seconds, I have like dry, dead skin hanging from my lips. Fuck out of here. And what's crazy is that it got so cold, so 
quickly. Like, I know for some of you guys watching this based on different parts of the country you're in. Do I really have to swap? Alright, Paula. Come on out! It's your first time at the uh, battle tower. Oh, she has another mod! Oh, it's a lava pit. Dragon dance, dragon dance, dragon dance. Dragon rush. Uh, but anyways, I don't know. The weather was weird this year. It was like unusually warm. I'm talking about like 80s. Like all the way through November. And then like first week of December, it was like God put the light switch. And it went from like highs of 80s every day to highs of like... I don't, I don't even want to say this, but I know you guys in the comment section are going to say some stupid shit. You call that cold? Oh, I feel so bad about what I'm saying right now. So, look, it's 78 degrees outside right now. <laughs> it's 80 degrees. The high today was 80. But to be fair, last couple days it has been a little bit warmer. For like the past week or two, it has been cold as shit. And to be fair, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> but most of the day, it is so ice cold. And at night, oh my god, I went out to get my trash can the other night, and I, I got halfway down the driveway and thought, I could get this in the morning. <laughs> I really don't need to get this right now. It's so fucking cold. And with Ivy, she didn't even say her name. She's been good this entire time. But, you know, we're at that point with her as a puppy. And I guess I'm really, really lucky. Because, see, I'm doing it again. The, the cool thing about Shiba Inu is they're so, so smart. You know, they, they have such unique expressions. They're such smart dogs. That's why the Shiba uh, Doge meme began to think. Um, so much so that with Sasha and Ivy didn't have to potty train them. And that is like a blessing. Because the worst part about getting a new dog is potty training them. Getting them to go outside and not in the house. Oh, encore me. That's fine. I'm going to max out and then dump on you and hopefully kill you in one hit. Oh, it's level... Oh, we're up. Anyways. So Ivy knows to go outside. She knows outside is where she goes to the bathroom. You know, she'll whine or cry when she needs to go. But, you know, sometimes she still has accidents. She's a puppy. She can only hold it for so long. You know, things like that. But still, she knows to go outside. The issue that we're having is that she hasn't learned that when you go outside, you need to go first. You can run around. You can play. You can do whatever else you want. But first and foremost, you need to go to the bathroom. Tag speed won't go any higher. Can we use a different move now? Yeah. All right, let's get the deep just to be sure. Dragon Rush is our strongest move. Fuck it up, Paula. Fuck it up, Paula. There it is. But anyway, so the issue that we're having now is I'll take her outside, and we have to take her outside by herself. She can't go out with Sadie and Sasha. Sasha, Sasha's such a jackass. <laughs> I love her with all my heart, but if there is something that she's not supposed to do she will do it every time every fucking time very candy and I, I, to be honest i love that about her she's such a little busybody she's such oh battle tower is ready whenever you are do they let you continue oh did it stop me because i got to a higher tier <laughs> 